Welcome to pack week four, where we try to recover from our mentally taxing uh, game last week. So yeah, we're playing against Goods and the Mississippi Mopicos, uh, good friend. And yeah, they have some very scary mons and especially Celesteela because Celesteela just likes to set up on some way or another. Either Autotomize or Meteor Beam or both for her. Well, that's kind of it, but I mean, that's already enough, like Basically any Autotomize Celesteela can just win the game outright if things get chipped a bit or if it gets uh, like one turn of setup. So that is very scary. And they in general have some scary offense. Rook, Kaleo, Tauros and Surfetch uh, as a breaker. And some Hazard stack, some Momentum, some Poltergeist shenanigans which just shell smashes and wins against our team as you will see. Like literally only the Mew that stays in against the Taunted kind of wins against it. Because anything else gets either outsped or can't Oko it. Uh, or well, yeah, anything else just gets outsped or can't stop it from smashing. And if it has Sash, it just kills everything because I didn't print Hita. But yeah. Let, let, let's let's calm down for a moment. We have the Dimanitan. We brought uh, in the game you saw yesterday there was a Galar Dimanitan and it just did nothing. Well, it did something, but not a lot, but it was also Belidrum. And here we have a normal uh, Dimanitan, which is also Belidrum and tries to do stuff. I learned that I, I wanted to play Belidrum Flame Charge so bad, but well, with sheer force, I can't get my Flame Charge speed boost and with a send mode I just get totally destroyed if I click Belidrum because then I'm in send mode and I'm the slowest thing that exists and I am basically useless because well yes I'm plus six attack but I have like no attack base anymore so it doesn't really help me in any way also I would need like plus six speed to actually outspeed things again so yeah that's not happening we have fire punch and earthquake we hope we can Belidrum we have endure to uh, either proc the berry or to survive like a surf uh, first impression once we're at 1 HP. Uh, we gotta be careful about Rocky Helmet, but otherwise this is very decent. Then we have Zapdos, the Scarfed, just Breaker. Uh, especially against the Crook that may want to play uh, Intimidate, it is very good. Just hits very hard. There are very few switch-ins, I mean Brave Bird and Close Combat, I mean it's just general fighting flying, very good coverage. Uh, we we even may to it KO the Celesteela, like with Thunderous Kick into Thunderous Kick, it depends on the Celesteela. Then we have Terina, which is mostly meant to switch into Kaleo and to chip it because it uh, flip turns into our Rocky Helmet. But it's also kinda handles Crook, I guess. I mean, it also switches into Crook to take like a knockoff or an Earthquake and also deal some Rocky Helmet chip and be annoying just with you turn and knock off. We are speed crept for Celesteela so we will always uh, taunt the Celesteela if it comes in against us because I don't want this thing to autotomize on me and I think it is yeah I, I think I can trade Serena for that. Also I take one air slash if I'm quite full. Let's say it like this. Then we have the Mew just fully defensive. Uh, well, fully defensive it has a lot of speed because I want to taunt things and then just outlast them with Roost and Seismic Toss and you turn for momentum for like a, quick sw a crook switching in or if there's a poltergeist then I can taunt into you turn against it so it can't uh, shell smash against me ever. It still is kind of threatening then even without boost just because it gets weak armor but it doesn't have focus search then anymore so I can deal with it. Uh, then we have freezing which is like the other only out against uh, poltergeist I guess. Like it doesn't take anything from Poltergeist that is already set up. But if we manage to get Weezing low enough in the early game, uh, before the Poltergeist comes out so that we're in custom range, we can like uh, sack something, then go into Weezing, custom demon it. And yeah, that maybe helps, we will see. Then we have uh, Spectria, which just wants to go in. Like there is a normal type in Tauros, yeah, but that gets to it KO'd by uh, Spec's uh, Dark Pulse. And then there's a Dark type in Crook, which is a problem. But I mean, that still takes a lot of damage. And if I manage to have T spikes up, then I can just Shadow Ball. Well, then I can just shoot down the Crook very well with Rocky Helmet on Serena, with the Tox uh, with the Poison itself, then maybe a Hex. And then I should be able to get through the Crook uh, just fine. 
And I also do it, KO the Celestila. And yeah, good times, good times, good times. I can also Willow on the Crook switch in if I don't have a uh, Toxic Spikes up so that I can Hex it next time and so that I can switch into it easier. Because after Willow, the Crook isn't really a threat anymore. I mean, Zapdos always kind of switches well into it and Serena and Weezing kind of. I mean, I'm neutralizing gas over, um, over Levitate because I felt like I wanted to get rid of one Magic Guard when Clef is against me. So if I T-Spike and then Clef wants to do some shenanigans, I can come in and just uh, stop it from just being immune to hazards. <laughs> yeah. And the other thing is uh, if I somehow force the Slowbro out with Weezing, I can also uh, I can stop its regen. Also can't get quick draw. And most importantly, the thing I was mainly thinking about is the Tauros uh, lose a sheer force, so it does uh, way less damage with Body Slam to me. Also, it takes life up recoil if it is life up, so that is really good chip uh, for a Spectre answer. Well, it's the fourth week of the pack. And yeah, we're playing against our good friend Scoots. And we hope the teapot is not coming. And yeah, that's basically everything to say. We're playing against Scoots and the Mississippi Mopicos. And we're bringing a team which literally always gets 6 out by the teapot. Well, not always, but... Well, if it's not the Mew in against it, I just instantly lose against it. As long as it is max speed and focus sash. But it's not there. I was expecting it to not come, but I wasn't sure and it's not coming. That's great. That is actually great. Okay. So it means we actually have a chance to win. That is nice. So what do we have? We have a lot of ones I didn't expect. No Tauros, no Keldeo. But we have Surfetched, we have Slowbro Galar. This. We have Crook, we have Celesteela, we have Cliff Fable, we have Neuven, we have Slow. Yeah, Slowbro. Already said that. Okay. Okay, that is not what I expected, but it's okay, I guess. Is it okay? Hopefully it is okay. Ah, the slow bro is annoying because it soaks the toxic spikes, and I really, really like the toxic spikes this game. So yeah, that definitely do be annoying. Do be very annoying. But yeah, we just we just lead Zapdos and well, let's see what happens. Let's see if we can win. I am once again low energy, but that is fine. At least in my opinion. I am recording right, yeah, perfect. Bam, that's the crook. Is it intimidate or not? It is intimidate, which means I get an attack boost, that's great. Okay. Like, I could just Oko this thing, but I think my play is to always U-turn because 1, it's not gonna stay in, and 2, well, it's not gonna stay in, and I deal 0 to slow Brogala with close combat. And I don't really want a Brave Bird. Do I want to do Brave Bird? Could just kill something with Brave Bird, but I'm clicking U-turn. There's no Tauros, which means I can Shadow Ball with Spectria, which is nice. And even if this Crook stays in, it will still take, like, I don't know, 70-80% from this U-turn. Or oh, it could also go Clefable. Yeah, it's Clefable. Okay. How much damage will it... Nothing. Wow. Like, yeah, U-turn is resisted, but that was literal zero. Like, literal zero. The slow bro is a fawn in my eyes, but I will still go wheezing here and I think I still want to uh, T-Spike. Even for there is a slow bro. Because especially if the slow bro comes in here, then the another one needs to get T-Spiked before it can remove them. 
This is the slow bro, right? Yeah. Okay. That is kind of fine. Hey dude, that he's biking. Now the question is, well, I think I always go into Mew, right? Yeah. Because I want to go Spectria, yeah, but... Well... Yeah, I don't want to hard switch into Spectria right now. They don't have that many Spectria answers. Like, yeah, there's the Crook. But it's kind of only the Crook. Especially because the Clefable looked super full stuff. Like super full stuff. I can just U turn on you, right? And if you stay in, then I go Spectria, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I will do that. I will do that. I will just U turn on you. I expect you to switch out. Question is into what? You could go Celestila. But I don't know about that one. You actually do not switch out. That is bad. That is bad. That, yeah. You can't teleport. You could trick room, I guess. Here goes Spectre. I will take like 50% from Psychic. Which is annoying. But I think I go Spectre anyways. Like, it probably does not Psychic, maybe it shell sidearms. And I should take that kinda well. Yeah, I do take that well, please no poison. Okay, no poison, that's good. Like, I can just Shadow Ball here, I could also Willow here. But if the Crook comes in, that gets poisoned by my T-Spikes anyway, so I will Shadow Ball. This uh, Slowbro could survive this if it's like AV mixed with death, but yeah. You get poison, so I start chipping you down. So that is fine by me. Also, since there's no Caldeo, Serena is kinda... Oh, you're Lumberry. Okay. So you are not poisoned yet. I'm not a fan of that, but yeah, it is what it is. Wow. That is a lot of damage on the Crook. Like, that is not Spidef Crook at all. That is not Spidef Crook at all. Yeah, I will just go to Serena. You will knock off. Okay. Everything is at le is either weak to psychic or to poison. That is bad. That is bad. That is very bad. Like, I will knock. I think I, I am... I will survive one hit. So I decide to knock here. AV, okay. Ice Beam, I take that. Yeah, I eat that. Don't get frozen, perfect. Okay, now I think it's time to U-turn on this. It is not AV anymore, so it doesn't take any. Fr uh, so it will get uh, Spectre to death. Will get Spectre to death now. Yeah, 
We always get spec crit to death now. What do you go into? Celestealer. Okay. Do I like that? No. This is very, very dangerous. But I can go into something that deals with it. It's Rocky Helmet. Okay, that means it's not weakness policy or or um or meteor beam thing. That is good. That is good. That is very good. Do I just go Spectria? Like I don't wanna eat the hit from this, yeah. It'll deal a lot of damage. But I also very, very likely to it KO it. Very likely. Could also go down and just threaten it out. Could go down and threaten it out. Oh yeah, I think I go Spectria. I eat any hit from it and I definitely do it kill with Shadow Ball. And since it's not weakness policy nor uh, thing item, uh, meteor beam item. I should not get swept by it here, I think. Yeah. I just click Shadow Ball, deal a lot of damage to something. If the Celesteela is bedept, then it may take two. Like it may. But then it doesn't have any offensive investment, so I should. Like only t take like 30% from it, so it would be fine. It stays in, and I expected that. I deal over 50%, that is nice, I get toxic. Okay. Is it good for me? No. Will it just protect next turn? Yes. Do I just stay in and shadow ball anyways, or do I switch out? This will totally protect on me, like, guaranteed. Like, there's no reason for you to not protect here, because it's... Especially because you know that I am... Uh, Specs. You have no reason to not protect. No reason to not protect. I'm going wheezing. I I 100 I am not 100% certain but I am like 80% 90% certain it will protect Celestila, right? Or switch out, okay. This is not optimal per se, but it's not that bad either. Like, I really don't want to... I like could just tease back here. Could just knock me off, but... Well, they won't do much damage to me. But I lose my cast up, which is a very, very important item for me. Yeah, very important item for me. Also, since I am neutralizing gas, I can get earthquake. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's let's play it safe. Let's go Zapdos. Let's play it safe. Sadly, the intimidates hit hits the wheezing and not my Zapdos on switching, but it's fine. There are stealth rocks. That is bad, because I brought no removal. But yeah, it's 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 bad, but kinda okay, I guess. Like you can go Cliff Fable again. I know you are like super fist of. You are like super fist of, yeah. I just want to U-turn again. Like I really do. We'll deal like nothing to the Cliff Fable again. Question is, can I? Just destroy the Clefable of Spectria? Probably not. Because even if it's full for stuff, like no spidef at all, still takes it decently well. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just U turn anyways. I should kill this thing from this range. It didn't look defensive at all. You just go Clefable again, yeah. There is the Clefable. Could go Mew and try to be a bit annoying, but I don't really do anything, to be honest. 
Don't wanna take the poison on you. Don't wanna go into you yet. So I'm going wheezing again. Still frogs are a real drag for me. Like they really, really are. They really, really are. Like I would like to T-spike again. Expecting Chuck to come in again, but if it doesn't, but if it's the crook, I kind of have a problem. So I'm clicking flamethrower here to deal at least some damage in case the crook comes in. And then when the crook comes in, I will just go... Will I just go Zapdos again? I think so. Is it the crook? No. Ooh, it's a Lestila. Will it die to my flamethrower? Please die to my flamethrower. Was not expecting you to come in and you eat the hit. Ah, that's bad. Well, there are worse things in the world. There definitely do be worse things. You are very low, which is good, but you are not dead, which is bad. Uh, I am so unsure what to do. Like, yeah, I am so unsure. I, I can flamethrower again. Yeah, yeah let's flamethrower again. Let's flamethrower again. Get leech seeded. Okay, I killed the Celestila. That's fine. The Celestila was in the way of my Darm because my Darm does not like Rocky Helmet. And the Cliff is not Rocky Helmet. And I can protect against Surfaged uh, First Strike, and uh, not First Strike, uh, First Impression. The problem is I need to threaten something out with the Darm to set up. And I don't know yet if I will be able to do that. That, that is the main problem. Because the Clefable is super full stuff, it might just stay in on Darm. And the Crook as well. And the Northern will just knock me out and the Surfage. I don't know if that will switch out either. And Slowbro, I can maybe Slowbro switches out against Surfage, uh, against Arm. I'm not sure. So what is my plan against Neuven? I think I don't have one, right? Do have a plan against Neuven? Neuven. If this thing is not Specs, I do take a hit. But if this thing is Specs, I do not take a hit. Huh, who would have thought? I could go Mew, which should still take two. Unless it's Specs Hurricane. I think if I T-spike again, I bring in the slow bro again. But that is kind of fine by me, right? Yeah, that's fine by me. I T-spike. I hope to survive one. It's only air slash, okay. How much damage? Life orb, okay. And I get flinched. And I lose health to leech seed. Oh, that is pain. That is a lot of pain. Yeah, and I died to Sulfrox now. So I guess I just cast up debond this thing away. Because I don't really have an option. And if you don't attack me this turn, I am just done. Like then the wheezing is just gone. Which sucks. Especially because I can't get these backs up. But yeah, please air slash me. Please air slash and connect. Air slash and connect. You can do it. You can do it, Noivan. Air slash and connect. Don't miss. Flamethrower. It's perfect. Even better than air slash. Can't miss. Perfect. We take out the Neuven, which is nice, I guess, but it's not the most important thing in the world. Okay, but we don't have T spikes up, and the Silfrox are here to stay. So that is not optimal. Also, Zapdos does not deal enough damage to play if breaks Obrogala, I think. Pretty sure. Yeah. But I think it's still my play to go into the Zapdos. 
I don't have the greatest Clefable switchings anymore, so maybe that is not perfect because Clefable is gonna be here, yeah. yeah I mean, that was predictable that the Clefable will come out here. Uh, this sucks. Did it Moonblast even once? I don't think it did. Always switched out, but always because I pressured it. And I don't have Moonblast switchings anymore anyways. So it might just Moonblast me. I think if it Moonblasts me and I Brave Bird, then I just die to it, right? Is it worth to go... Yeah, it's ne no, 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 no. No, that's definitely not worth to just throw Zapdos away for nothing. Because I can still go Mew, and I can taunt this thing. That it uh, can't soft void on me. And I will do that. And I should eat Moonblast. And it is very likely to go for a Moonblast. Because I don't have the greatest switch-ins anymore, other than Mew. Ooh, it clicks T-Wave. Which means it gets T-Waved as well. So it's not... Not the worst thing ever. But I mean, still not optimal. I will just click Taunt here, yeah. I Taunt the Cliff Fable. It can't soft boiled. It's perfect. Question is do I now U turn or do I now a seismic toss? I think a seismic toss. And then a U turn next turn, maybe? I'm not sure. I think a seismic toss. Probably should have just U turned. Probably should have just U turned, yeah. Could have killed this thing, maybe. Well, depends. Here's my seismic toss. Won't kill. This thing will just click knock off, which is annoying, but I mean, I can stay in and seismic toss again. And then they go surf fetched, and I sack him on, and then. Uh, I'm not sure what I do then, but I'm sure there's something I do then. Well, that all assumes that I get full para. Please don't get full para. Please. Thanks. Nice. Okay. We take out the crook. That is nice. That is nice. I think you always go surfaged here, right? Well, you could also go slow, bro. Would also be kind of reasonable. I should outspeed a slow bro for. Yeah, you go surf fetched. You can just click and knock. Like, there's no risk attached to knocking off, right? Yeah, I don't think there's any risk to get uh, to knocking off. But just in case you decide to not knock off, I will go. Uh, it's arena, because if you go first impression, it doesn't hit me. But we will see. Please click first impression, thanks. <laughs> but you won't, you will click knock. Oh, it's first impression, that's nice. That is nice. Will I just knock, will I synthesis, will I taunt, uh, brain, brain, brain. You have a switch in if a U-turn. Not really. I think I want to knock it off, right? Yeah. I will knock off. Clicks close comma. It outspeeds me. It outspeeds me. I'm almost max speed. Is this like jolly max speed? Do I even get outsped by jolly max speed? I do get outsped by jolly max speed. Only barely. But I do. Okay. So this is Jolly Max Speed Surfaged. That is good to know. That is very good to know. Jolly Max Speed Surfaged. Interesting, interesting. I was only like two or three points slower than that. Oh yeah, I, I trapped for Celesteela and this thing has a bit more base speed, I remember. Even if it's for stuff, I should do it KO, right? Yeah, definitely. Okay. I will just do that again. I will just do that again.
You withdraw, you go slow, bro, I guess, but do you even take two? Probably not, right? Do you take two? I mean, I take a lot of recall, but I don't care at this point. I just brave but spam. Yeah, I really don't care about the recall at this point. Like, yeah, you got more recall out of me, but I still get the clef. And yeah, you can go uh, surfetched in first impression. But does that even kill me? Actually, wonder. Surfetched first impression, trolley. Not choice band. There's like 10% only. So 15 if it crits me. So that's only like 25 HP. Yeah, that's 25 max roll. So I think I take one, right? Yeah. Do I kill you from here? Probably not. This is worth to preserve. I don't think so. Right, I have Spectria. I have... Um, I don't think it's worth to preserve. Just Brave Bird again. Because I just Brave Bird, now I go Spectria and click a big uh, Shadow Ball. And then if all else fails, I, have still, I still have Darm. And I can still like mute to a first impression. So I should be fine. I think. Click Shadow Ball. Click the Shadow Ball button. You sack, okay. And you should not kill me with first impression. And you will definitely not kill uh Dam with a quick attack after. Like I am plus one and specs. So I like one-shot non-bulky, like I one-shot max HP surfetched. And first impression shouldn't kill me, so yeah. Like even first impression crit, like first impression crit could kill me. And then that was a throw. Was that a throw then? Dom might still win then afterwards, but it could lose. Yeah, if I get first impression crit, yeah, I threw. I threw the game. If this crits me, I'm... No, wait. No. Okay. No, oh, I already had the crit in the car. Okay, never mind. I was like, no, if the crits, it kills me, but I already had the crit in the car. So yeah, chichis to Scoots. I'm very glad there was no teapot. And yeah. We sadly get, didn't get to use the Dom. Dom was a very, very fun set. Uh, yeah, but that's okay. That's okay. GG's to Scoots. Check him out, definitely, and see you next time.